Hello everyone and welcome to episode 8 of the Operation Pontus campaign for the FA-18 and DCS world, where this time we've got a very dark and gloomy uh, sortie for us. Uh, the entire map is at night, there's very very low cloud cover. Originally I was going to play around doing some casts on this one, but there's basically no point, there's no ground visibility. I sent fish to do casts, Hooter to do a strike mission, but I'm an idiot and accidentally told Hooter to RTB shortly after takeoff, so Hooter didn't bother carrying out the strike mission. Uh, Trimmer was set to do seed operations, Pickle was set to do cap in A, and since the weather conditions were awful against doing anything on the ground, I decided to take a cap loadout and go patrol between Bravo and Charlie sectors, and taking the normal mix of a single harm missile, a couple of fuel pods, four AIM 120s, and two AIM 9Xs. So, anyway, let's jump into it. So as I headed into the site, I was getting pings from an SA-6 and I was trying to launch it. I was having issues mostly because I was being a bit of an idiot and I was using the wrong controls. So instead of doing the handoff, I was just uh, slamming out flares. So anyway, I switched over to self-protection mode in the end and fired off a missile. And thankfully, here we go, the missile traps. Can't see much in the darkness, but it does take out an SA-6. A little bit later, I was uh, heading into some contacts that we were given. There are multiple contacts here. I've sent T to engage bandits. He's already launched Fox 3 on 1. I've locked up a different one. So I launch one Fox 3, I start getting locks, and he says that there's been a missile launch, so I go evasive, trying to maintain the lock on my target. L manage to break the enemy locks, start heading back in on the target, lose the lock on my target. As I'm trying to reacquire... Two manages to get his first kill there. And it turns out these were uh, fulcrums that we were fighting. And there we go, I get hit on my target, which turned out to be a transport, but the fulcrums were escorting. And two there goes and takes out another one. There's then some confusion here with various contacts that we're being given. Uh, but it turns out at this point, these are just the destroyed planes that are still crashing down. So, take a moment to launch my, or eject my fuel pods. Uh, two of them definitely kills the last one. We then called in on another set of targets. In this case, they don't seem to be locking us, so taking it a lot more relaxed. Get a lock eventually. And just closing in a little bit. Launch my Fox 3. Immediately lose the lock, so reacquire. Flight. Engage bandits. Tell T to engage. Fire a second Fox 3 now, shorter range. And then notch in order to dodge any incoming fire, but still no sign of locks from the bandits here. Just trying to keep them right on the edge of the radar view there. You can see the little marker moving up is the position of my missile. Now, 
and swings nicely in and turns out I've been engaging in book 21 so probably a bit overkill there and that was it I chased down one other target but Pickle got to it beforehand and at this point we we're running really low on munitions two was at uh, bingo fuel so we just RTB'd Rather terrifying landing with near zero visibility, but managed to get there in the end. So in terms of what we got, I got an SA-6, the transport plane and a MiG-21. My wingman got two MiG-29s. And Pickle got two other MiG-29s. The only loss was one friendly frogfoot that got shot down by a Sam. Unfortunately, Trimmer didn't engage any targets, so I don't know why. Hooter I ordered back to base before she managed to do anything, and Fish again decided not to engage any targets. So, pretty interesting one there. Rather terrifying flying in zero visibility conditions, but something different. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, please do leave a like. Uh, if you'd like me to try any different kind of missions on this, do just leave a comment. And otherwise, I hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, remember to be kind to yourself and everyone else. Cheers.